And I'm going to talk about some updates that are going on with the channel. And this is uh, just current updates, future videos I'm going to talk about for this channel. And uh, for one, where I'm still going to do like electronic repair. And I'm going to do like innovative, any kind of like innovation or any innovative products to review. Like uh, anything that's really, I find really interesting or cool. I'm going to review it for you guys, do some tutorials. And yeah, just I wanted to uh, find out from you guys what videos you guys want me to produce this year. But I'm definitely going to do more electronic repair and I'm going to do more innovative tech um, reviews and tutorials for that innovative tech. And I'm a little out of breath, sorry. <laughs> I've been hopping around because I broke my leg. Yay! Break into the new year with a broken leg. Yeah. I'm gonna make a separate video about how I broke my leg later on, like uh, probably today or tomorrow. So if you guys wanna find out how I broke my leg and how I'm dealing with it in my rehab and all that stuff and you know, what it is, uh, what I broke, I didn't break my foot, I broke my tibia and my fibula bone. So um, I think it's tibia. Yeah, the tibia bone is the bigger bone that's in your leg. And then the fibula bone is the, um, the bone that is kind of like on the outside of your leg, it's thinner. And uh, I broke that near my ankle. So I thought I broke, originally I thought I broke my foot and it was at a trampoline park, right? And uh, I was having a little bit too much fun. <laughs> my, my son actually uh, warned me. He's like, dad, you're being a hazard. <laughs> and uh, yeah. And uh, right after that, he said that I sure enough, I broke my bones. So I mean, I'm doing all right. I'm going to find out Friday if I and if I need surgery. They took a look at the x ray at the ER. And the ER said as of as it looks right now, I don't need surgery. They're going to do a follow up. And they want me to like use crutches and you know, kind of like, you know, move around and they want to see if it's stable enough, I don't need surgery. So hopefully I'll find out Friday, no surgery, because if I need surgery, that's like 20 or $30,000 surgery. I do have insurance, but it's like the worst insurance ever. I have the bronze package, <laughs> which is like the cheapest one I could get. And it, it was still like $800 a month. So it, for me, that wasn't cheap, but uh, I'm sure I'll pay for some of it, but $30,000 for surgery is expensive. So hopefully I don't need surgery Friday. If I do, then I'm going to be one broke mofo. Um, so yeah, I'm going to talk about the channel a little bit and find out from you guys what you guys are interested in. Uh, I think a lot of you guys subscribe to the channel because of either TV repair, electronic repair, like um, the game repair I do for handheld games. Uh, some of you guys subscribe because my installation videos, according to my analytics, my most subscribed uh, content on my channel it is installations. Like, you know, believe it or not, it's installations. Even though I have more electronic repair and TV repair, it's actually t um, like in installations and stuff like that. And uh, so I'm probably gonna do more of that, like installs and stuff like that. I already did some installs, of, you know, ceiling mount speakers and stuff like that, and a ceiling projector. Uh, I'm more, I'm working on a a video how to like ceiling mount a projector and I was in the attic before I broke my leg um, I was in the attic you know running wires and stuff like that but um, I'm gonna produce some videos in the future if you see me walking around that's because I recorded that video before I broke my leg so I have a bunch of videos on my computer I haven't edited yet um, so keep that in mind what is this I have um, I need your help with a Sony TV I have a BenQ curved screen how to fix it it's really hard for me to just like, what, what, I don't know the model numbers. Like you guys, you know, I'm not, you know, you guys tell me the model number. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm like, Hey, I know how to fix that. It's not like that. I would have to like troubleshoot it. And you have to tell me way more about what's going on for me to help you guys fix your electronics. Cause I have no problem helping you fix your, your electronics. I like to share my knowledge and try to, you know, 
help you troubleshoot it and give you my advice. I'm no ex, you know, expert by any means. I used to fix electronics for TV repair shops. Um, I worked for Best Buy fixing T I was like the road tech for, you know, TV repair for Best Buy up North, but I don't do that. That was the early 2000. And, and then I moved to Florida and I worked for a company called Game Gallery and I did video arcade repair and some pinball repair. And so I, my, my tech skills are widespread and it's not like I'm an expert in one exact field. I was doing satellite installs, home theater installs and TV repair and pinball repair. I was all over across the board doing all sorts of things just to like trying to put food on the table for my kids. But um, I can help you guys out, fix your electronics. You just have to tell me a little bit more what's going on for like Sony TVs. Um, for me, uh, older KDL Sony TVs, like, it's like a T-com board issue. Like there was um, no picture. It tended, usually it's a T-com board that's defective for me, like the most common. Um, BenQ, I, I didn't really fix too much BenQ. It's not really a popular brand like Sony. Um, but I, I, you know, just post something and uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and read your comments and see if you guys, I don't know why that disappeared. I'm trying to read your comments. Uh, get well, Sue. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. Get well, Sue, meet. And uh, PS5. That PS5 is chilling in the background. Yeah, you see that, right? I did a couple of tutorials on how to, uh, you know, fix a couple, you know, things on your uh, PS5. Check that out. You know, check out the PS5. If you have a PS5, check out those tutorials. T -t 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 I'm stuttering. But anyway, um, check out those tutorials. Hopefully those will help you out in the future if you ever run across any kind of issues where you don't get a picture on your TV screen. Um, but uh, I wanted to also show you this Legends Pinball. Um, I just got this in. I actually bought it and I'm doing some tutorials on it. I find pinball really awesome fascinating. I'm a huge pinball fan. I had a pinball machine when I was younger and I'm thinking about buying a broken pinball machine. What do you guys think about that? I want to fix it and do some tutorials and I want to flip it. So I want, I want to, I'm looking for a broken pinball machine. I want to buy it for maybe like $500, whatever it is and um, fix it up and sell it or maybe even donate it to like a children's hospital. There's like a cancer's, um, uh, Children, Children's Hospital, it's called Moffitt, and it's for kids with cancer. So I might donate something all over there. Um, or if they don't take, I don't know, it's COVID right now, so they probably won't take any used items, you know. But um, yeah, maybe like it might be a cool video to flip a, a pinball machine. All right, let me know what you guys think about that. I'm going to go ahead and read your comments. I don't know why this thing keeps on disappearing. The live chat. Yeah, I'm doing this uh, speedy recovery. Yeah, it's six to eight weeks recovery. That's uh, without surgery. So hopefully I don't need surgery. I'll find out Friday. Yeah. Um, so my buddy actually owns, uh, and he sells pinball machines and arcade cabinets and stuff like that. So I'm going to um, see if he was willing to like sell me one. And I might actually just keep it. It depends on what like pinball machine it is. If he sells me like a used or broken pinball machine and it's really amazing, like Bride of Pinbot or something like incredible and I can't just be a, like, you know, part with it, I'm probably going to keep it and just modify it and make it better and do some mods on it and uh, just spruce it up. But uh, if you can find a broken pinball machine for 500 and you can fix it up, they go for like four or $5,000 now. Like back in like the nineties, there were like three grand, two grand, but now you get, they're like $12,000 for some of them. Um, I think uh, Medieval Madness, it goes for like $15,000. So you can find a Medieval Madness for under 10000 buy it. Um, they even, that, that pinball machine is so, like, so sought after that they actually had a remake of that pinball machine. So check out Medieval Madness. It's rated number one best pinball, pinball machine of all time. I'm going to show you this one. I'm gonna go ahead and tilt the camera down and talk about some updates about the Legends Pinball. This was $650. This is a video uh, virtual pinball machine, right? And it plays also video games like Ms. Pack and vertical games. 
like Galaga. And this thing is really fascinating. And I think this is like the future of pinball. So what's cool about this is for one, it doesn't cost $5,000. And for two, you can have multiple pinball machines, um, multiple tables. And let me go ahead. These are my favorite right here. So these are all Gottlieb tables. But there's a new update where you can actually play uh, Pinball FX3 and connect your PC to this Pinball machine, which is really cool. And uh, Future Pinball is going to be compatible with this as well. Those are future updates. And then streaming, you can stream from your PC, like uh, Pinball FX and Pinball Arcade. So you can play Medieval Madness on here, but it would be like the virtual Medieval Madness. And you can play it from your PC locally, uh, but you have to stream it using a pinball FX three or a pinball arcade. So let me go ahead and hit the menu button. And this is, uh, they have gl global leaderboard. So if you get a high score, anyone who owns this will see your high score. It's, um, yeah, it's on the internet. So it's kind of cool. All right, so here we go. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pick out one of my old, this is an oldie, but one of my favorites It's called Jack's Open. And this is um, from 1977, but it just plays amazing on here. There, there's newer pinball machines on here, but this is like an old school one that plays really well. And this really helps you with your targeting practice. So if you're, you wanna get really good at pinball, then try Jack's Open because there's a bunch of targets up here and they give you, and it's really like, I love pinball machines to have an easy objective, like a clear objective. So right here, we have to get um, two jacks, which is a pair. And then the next, once you get the two jacks by hitting the J's up here, the targets, then you have to work yourself up and then get three queens, all right? And then once you get the three queens, which is uh, one's there, one, there's a Q there and there's a Q there, then it resets and then you have to uh, get the three queens and two kings. And then you have to hit all these targets. So it really helps you become really good at targeting and playing, you know, pinball. So let's go ahead and get started. And there's haptic feedback on here. They're gonna have support for solenoids. So when you hit that flipper button, you can really feel it. So I hold down the flipper the, um, right here. And then I'm gonna target a J. There's a J there and a J there. So I'm gonna to try to target that. I got one. So I need the other J, which is right here. All right, so I'm on. Oh. So I'm on level two. So I need I need three queens. All right. So there's five balls all together. So I'm on ball two. All right. So I need a queen, queen, and a queen, and two kings right here and here. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, I missed. And then I want to hold it right there. And then there's another queen right there. I'm going to try to hit that. Got it. And let me see. There's a, another queen right there. Oh, I missed. Uh, also, if you get all these lights up here, you automatically go to the next round. So one, two, three, four, if you get those lights, then um, you automatically go up to the next uh, category. So got that queen, I need one more. Oh, oh. Ah, I lost it. There's also a nudge button here. So that would help you prevent, you know, draining the ball. So yeah, as you can see, this is works really good. It's real realistic. Ah right down the middle. Um, this is a 1080p screen, 60 frames per second. There's support, you can um, have add-on games on your USB drive. I'm streaming. All right. All right, um, but anyway, I just wanted to show you this and uh, you know, check out my uh, new video coming out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk, um, I'm actually gonna talk more about, uh, got my wife calling me actually, but um, I'm gonna talk more about my broken leg and how I'm dealing with the rehab. 
I'm po probably going to post that video today if you guys are interested. Let me go ahead and read some of your comments. Um, mine shows up tomorrow. Oh, congratulations. Uh, you bought yourself a Legends pinball. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff coming out with it. And it's just like, it's just not um, a pinball, a virtual pinball machine. It's so much more. You can actually play video arcade games like Pac-Man and Ms. Pac and Galaga. And I think it's really awesome. And it's, uh, it just, you could do so much with it. Uh, I was thinking about, I should do a TikTok account. <laughs> I don't know about that. TikTok, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so. I probably won't do a TikTok account. My, I seen my wife's on TikTok and it's pretty toxic. People like complain a lot on TikTok. I noticed, and I just um, I don't know. YouTube's been good to me, so I have Instagram, but I, I rarely post anything on Instagram. But anyhow, um, let me see what else. Uh, do a videos about pinball machines. Yeah, I was. I'm definitely gonna pick up a broken pinball machine and do some tutorials, and I might uh, flip them. Who knows? But we'll see. Um, I love pinball machines I'm going to do more TV repair for sure, but I just don't get so many TVs, you know, I, uh, rarely get TVs in and then, you know, I don't have too much support, you know, I'm not at, you know, TV repair center, so I don't have the schematics and everything else available. There is stuff, websites, I can get stuff, but, um, I do, I'm going to post like some, uh, TV repairs later on. I got a few TVs in the house that need to be fixed. Um, let's see, uh, how many hours you have played on the legends? Oh, well, I got actually a high score on a few. Um, I think I got the top five globally on victory and Jack's open. I just dropped my crutches. I'm a mess. This I'm, I don't live stream much. Um, so I'm practicing right now and sorry for that. I'm a little dysfunctional and stuttering because I'm nervous, but, um, I just want to give you guys some updates on the channel and uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for that video. I talk more about my broken leg and the rehab I'm doing and uh, give you more of an insight of uh, what's going on. Thanks guys. Later.